Hi my friends, welcome to Forever Yoga, wake up yoga with a touch of philosophy. So go gather up what you would like to practice on today. Your yoga mat, maybe something to sit on, a block or a cushion, and I'll meet you back where we will start, like we always do, by getting grounded. Welcome back my friends and today we are going to start at the beginning and today's touch of philosophy we're going to take the very first sutra of Patanjali's Yoga Sutras to inform how we begin and it really is the beginning of yoga. Patanjali's first sutra is translated to be now is the time for yoga. And how perfect is that because that's what we want to do with both our bodies and our minds is to come into the now. So I'm going to be chanting the sutra out loud and I'll do it once, you can listen, and then I'll do it again. Join in if you feel inspired. Finding your comfortable seat. Closing your eyes. Finding awareness of breath, lengthening your spine and relaxing your shoulders. Watch your breath. And now listen to this mantra. Atta yoga nushasanam. Join in if you would like. Atta yoga nushasanam. Stay with this mantra for a moment or two. Now is the time for yoga. Feel yourself present in your physical body, on your mat, with your breath. Excellent. There you are. Let's begin movement. For our physical stretching today, let's get started. If you're sitting on anything, you might want to take it out of the way and bring your feet out in front of you a little bit more than hip width apart and be really light light on your feet so you're lifting up from your hips and you're very uh, light uh, all the way through the hips and the legs plant your hands behind you for support it can go whichever direction feels comfortable my fingers are coming forward press down send your chest up so it's a warm-up back bend and now windshield wiper the knees side to side. So hips go over and resist bringing everything over in a rounded upper body situation and rather stay still with your upper torso and simply take your knees side to side. Feet are fairly wide apart. As we warm up the hips, get the feet even involved, kind of rolling over the sides of the feet been a long night we wake up our bodies feel stiff it's time to move good and then come back up to sitting let's sit cross-legged bring the arms out to the sides relax the shoulders turn your palms up inhale reach up seated mountain exhale Prayer hands can come right down in front, in front of your chest. Interlace the fingers here, and now turn the palms away and around your spine. That's your exhale. Inhale, come up. Now turn to your right, place your left hand on your right knee, right hand behind you for a twist. Inhale, lift, and exhale, turn. Very nice, good morning. Seated twist. And then both arms can come up. Come down to your center again. Interlace the fingers. See if you can switch the interlace. Turn the palms away. Round your upper back. Spinal flexing. Press. And then up you come. Stretch. T 
turn to your left. Right hand on left knee, left hand behind you, shoulders are down, spine is straight, and then turn. Breathe in and out. Be present for what's going on in your body here. Notice. It's really the entire point of yoga, is to be present and connected. So notice where you're at right now in this easy morning twist. Inhale, exhale, bring the arms up again, and then prayer hands to the chest. Let's transition to all fours, table position. With your hands wider than your shoulders, spread your fingers wide, knees a little wider than your habitual table, if you will. Adjust your clothing <laughs> or any equipment that you may be hanging onto your body. And then we're going to begin some circling around. So hips to one side, forward, you're creasing your wrists now, so the wrists are getting a bit of a warm up. Now, if anything is not appropriate for your body today, please make modifications and do what is uh, helpful. Don't aggravate any conditions that um, are sensitive. Breathe. So that's, that's part of your job in terms of being present. And good. So a couple circles there. Now, we're going to take the left leg, extend it behind you, press into the ball and toe of your left foot. Now, if your wrists are a concern, or your hands, you can certainly do this on your forearms. I'm uh, in a place now where it's appropriate for me to be putting a lot of pressure down on my hands and my wrists and my fingers, so I'm up here. Find the place that's appropriate for you, and now take a breath in and out, and then lift that leg up behind you, press through the back heel, and now pull the heel in towards your butt, squeeze, and we will strengthen the hamstring here. Good morning, hamstring. Excellent. Pause with the leg out behind you, drop it down, and now slide it over to the left. So if that's your left leg, you're going out to that same side of your mat in front of you. The right hand will be grounded. You can also use a fist or even still be down on a forearm here. Draw your navel to your spine and sweep left arm up and hold. Beautiful job. Breathe and circle back down. Take that foot, slide it back behind you and then drop the knee down, toes touch, knees wide, hips go back, do a frog child <laughs> coming into a resting child position. Here's a little uh, variation. Touch your thumb, touch your index fingers, make a diamond, and plant them down on your mat, and then drop your head. You can relax your head. You can let your forehead come all the way down if that's comfortable, or keep it up. Find your breath. And then move your hips a little bit side to side so you can tune in to how your hips are feeling here. If this is too much to have your hips all the way back to your heels, it would be completely fine to have your hips up, your butt up. That would be fine too. Good. Breathe here. Taking a few moments to tune in to stillness in this morning practice. We've got a day ahead. Let's get prepared mentally as well as physically. And now push up, table position. We're back up to table. And uh, let's do the same exact routine. Uh, again, we're going to circle the hips around. So hands are a little wide, knees are a little wide, and circle around, come forward, and back, forward, and reverse direction, good, and now take your knees in a little bit, extend your left, uh, the right leg, the other side is the right leg behind you, hold here, 
lift the left leg up and start to bring the heel in towards your butt as you work on waking up the hamstring. Hold and breathe. Keep going. Move and breathe. Not hold yet. Keep moving. In and out. Hamstring curls for this morning wake up. Good. Now lower the foot down. You're on the toes. Press through the ball of your foot. And now take that leg out to the right. So if it's your right leg, you're sliding out at a right angle on the right side of your mat. Left hand is grounded. Right arm goes up and look up at it and breathe. Good. Take another deep breath. Circle around and down. Take the foot behind you and drop to your knees. Good. Curl your toes. Spread your fingers. Lift up into a hovering dog. So knees are two or three inches off the floor. Again, this can be done on your forearms. Hovering dog. Upper body. Wake up. Good. And then hips back. Up into a very, very bent knee downward facing dog. Bring your right foot to center. Straighten the right leg a bit so you can pedal. And now left leg goes straight behind you. Hold here. Good morning. Three legged dog. Bring the knee in and plant the foot between your hands. Drop your knee, back knee down. Lift up into low lunge. Both arms will come up. Inhale. Exhale. Float the hands to the heart. Bring your hands on either side of the front foot. If you've got some blocks, grab your blocks. Take your hips back. Toes up. And then come forward. Curl back toes. Go to the higher lunge. And then lift up. Warrior one lunge. Hold here. Say good morning to the day. Good. Float down. Blocks really are nice here. I'm, I know some of you are resistant, but give it a shot. All right. Step back. Drop to your knees. Take the blocks out of the way. Good. Hovering dog, once again. Take two knees up off the floor. Good. Straighten the legs. Walk your feet a little closer in towards your feet. Now, your feet towards your feet. That makes sense. Your feet towards your hands. Now, separate your feet wider than your normal dog. So, do an abnormal dog. In other words, a dog position you don't normally take. So, I'm opting to take my feet as wide as the edges of my mat. And my hands in and thumbs touching. So the key to healthy movement is to work all parts of our bodies in safe ways every day. So be here now in a awkward dog. <laughs> Excellent. And then... Bring the feet in, so now the right foot will be in the, uh, the one you're going to lift. Your left foot is centered. Drop the heel or bend the knee. Do both. Bend the knee, drop the heel. Then the three-legged dog. Lift it up. Get long from your hands to your crown, through your tailbone, through your foot. Remember, you could have a bent knee standing or straight. Whatever feels good. And then bring the knee in, look up, pop the foot between the hands, and drop knee to the mat. Lift up. Low lunge. Low lunge. Whew. Grab your blocks. Good. Come up. Arms up. Breathe. Greet the day. Stretch. And bring your hands to frame your foot. So, on blocks or not, but now to do a half split, take your hips back. Option to come up on your toes. Option to drop your nose to your knee. Good. Forward. Curl back toes. Lift up high lunge. 
and lift up into your warrior one, standing both arms up. Feel your strength here, your warrior strength. Inhale, exhale, prayer hands come down, frame the front foot, step back, and final move of our morning wake up is a plank. So you can uh, find plank on your knees, but I encourage you to come up to a full plank just for a few moments. Wrists are going to crease and you're going to come forward and back, rock on your toes. Good. Pause here. And choice, drop to the knees or lower all the way down. Once you're down, flatten the tops of your feet. Bring your arms back beside you, palms face down. Roll your shoulders a few times here. And let's open and close our fists here too. So stretch your hands, make fists. Stretch your hands, make fists. Breathe. Good. Now, lifting everything up together. It's going to be your front body and both of your legs, both of your arms into Navasana or boat pose. So take a breath in, a breath out, and then inhale, lift and hold, breathe. And let's do the open and close of the hands again. So squeeze fists and stretch the hands. Squeeze and open. Squeeze and open. Now spread your fingers wide. Energize through your toes, holding here. This is awesome for strengthening the muscles around your spine. One of my most key uh, positions I like to do for building bone density. Inhale and exhale, relax. Come on down. Let's take a moment to relax. It's still morning, right? <laughs> Depending on what time you're doing this. Pick up your feet, bending at your knees. Take your feet side to side. Windshield wiper your knees, your legs, side to side. Good. And then bringing the hips back in, the feet and the knees together. Hands by your chest. Curl your back toes. Find child. Find your inner child. <laughs> Any version of child pose that's comfortable, including a puppy stretch where your hips are up if you don't want to go all the way back. And then finding breath. Notice what you're experiencing now that you've done your stretches. Excellent. Slowly put your hands on the mat for pushing up. Push yourself up to seated. And come to your seat. Bring hands to a prayer. So I hope you enjoyed your stretches this morning. You're ready to face the day. You've come into your present moment and ready to navigate ahead. Namaste. Mm -hmm.